We're here at historic Brandywine State Park here in Delaware, and look what the wind blew in. From New Mexico, New Jersey, Sweden, and his home state of Delaware, we have four of the PDGA's top disc golfers at the Brandywine Windjammer. Disc Golf Monthly starts now. Hello, and welcome to this January's edition of Disc Golf Monthly. My name is Allie Wilkinson, and I'm here with my co-host, John Dusler to talk about the 2006 Brandywine Windjammer Tournament. With 54 players on the course today, John, how did this tournament shape up? Well, Allie, there's 37 pros and 17 AMs out there, and even though the rains have subsided on this Sunday, the winds have not. They're gusting up to 45 miles per hour, but that's not affecting Mike Moser's game. He's carrying a big lead into the finals over Marcus Kallstrom, recently located from Sweden, Nick Schneider, and Steve Brinster from New Jersey. So we're looking for a good finals. Excellent. And now let's turn to Linda Kurtz to catch the round three recap. Welcome to the round three recap of the 2006 Brandywine Windjammer Tournament. As you can see, this tournament is really living up to its namesake. There are 54 players who have come out here to brave the high winds, and as you will see, it has been one mad tournament. 20 to 30 mile per hour winds greeted players for the second day at the Windjammer, sending drives, approach shots, and putts everywhere but where the players wanted them to go. Except for Bard Solong, who makes this putt followed by Steve Brinster on hole 18. The punishing winds gave extra distance to some drives, making them go out of bounds. While pushing others down too soon. And it made for a putting nightmare. Some players like Brian Stroney tried to wait out the wind, but to no avail. Greg Wheeler had more to deal with than just high winds on this shot, having to shoot from the edge of the Brandywine Creek. There's nothing like a cold and windy day at Brandywine. Just look at some of these incredible shots. Well, as you just saw, disc golf and high winds do not mix very well, but we're going to go ahead and take a look at the leader scores in each division. Representing the women's advanced dam is Kit Bassett with a 282. Leslie DeMarc is leading the women's open with a 207, followed by Amy Moser, who has a 220. Over in the Grandmasters division, Anthony Barber is ahead with a 198, while Paul Kelly is right behind with a 204. In the Open Masters division, it's Jim Myers in the lead by eight strokes with a 167. Joe Mella is in second with a 175. Wayne Zink is in third by four strokes, and Link Morgan is in fourth with a 184. While fifth place is a three-way tie between Keith Brace, Dean Pfeiffer, and Joe Corridan. And here's how everyone else placed in the men's Open Masters division. Over in the men's advanced dam, it's John Murphy in first with a 195. Derek Britt is in second with a 197 along with Alan Sweeten. While Tim Rays is in fourth with a 198. Stuart Crawl is tied for fifth with John Kesium with a 203. And here's how everyone else finished in the men's advanced dam. And to wrap things up with the men's open division, we have Mike Moser leading with a 159. Marcus Kallstrand is in second with a 167. Last year's champion Steve Brinster is in third with a 171. And Nick Schneider is in fourth with a 174. Rounding out the top five is Jeff Cahill with a 177. And here's where everyone else stands in the men's open division.
And that wraps it up for this month's round three recap. Thanks for that recap, Linda. And John, we've got four of our top PDGA players out here. What can you tell us about their game today? Allie, we're really fortunate to have our fourth place world's finisher, Mike Moser from Delaware. He's leading the group, but we have Marcus Kallstrom, recently located from Sweden to Scranton, Pennsylvania, followed by New Jersey's own Steve Brinster, ranked one of the top 20 players in the world. And nothing to shake a stick at, Nick Schneider. He just relocated back from New Mexico. He's the multi-New Mexico States champion, and it's going to be a great finals. Excellent. And now we're going to take a break from Disc Golf Monthly for this message. 